Apple versus Samsung. You've probably heard that before. Welcome back to Easy Way. Today, we're going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the iPhone 12. Let's start with the cameras. The iPhone 12 has a 12 megapixel camera, one wide and one ultra wide, with a zoom up to five times bigger. On the other hand, the S20 Ultra is a quad camera phone, which means it has four rear cameras, one 12, 108, and a 48 megapixel camera. With all these complex features, this has the strongest camera on a smartphone. Next is the video recording feature. The iPhone 12 can video record at 4K, 60 frames per second. However, the Samsung S20 Ultra can record at 8K, 480 frames per second. In camera systems, Samsung has the advantage and would have a better performance. Thirdly is the batteries. The iPhone 12 has a battery size of 3087 milliampers and has a battery life of almost 10 hours and 55 minutes. Although, Samsung has a battery size of 5,000 milliampers and has a battery life of 10 hours and 32 minutes. In this case, it's a tie between Samsung and Apple for the battery. Depending on your preference of phone size, iPhone might be the better option for display because it has a 6.1 inch display, which is easy to carry and much lighter, while the Samsung has a 6.9 inch display which might be a large screen for whatever you may need, but it's very big and heavy for a day-to-day -day phone. Moving on to the mobile data connection speed. Both Apple and Samsung have a 5G chip, which allows you to download up to 20 gigabytes per second in ideal condition. Continuing with storage capacity. The best storage option for Samsung is 512 gigabytes while the best for Apple is 256 gigabytes, but there's still enough for storing anything on your phone. Another advantage that Samsung has is that you can expand your storage to 1.5 terabytes at most while using SD card. The most important part of a smartphone is its processing unit. The Samsung has an eight core processor. While this is powerful, it still doesn't meet the power of an Apple A14 Bionic chip. The A14 chip is a six core processor, but it still exceeds with more power while generating much less heat. To end off this comparison, these two phones are both very strong and can do any task, so it comes down to your preference of display size and camera quality. At the end of the day, both companies will be equally as successful. Thanks for watching Easy Way. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.